Medical professionals are being hailed as heroes, but the Texas Medical Association says some of them are on the brink of shutting down their practices because of the pandemic. The night team's Patty Santos tells us why the unexpected consequences could leave some Texans with less access to medical care. There's going to be some small businesses and practices that don't make it back, and that's going to add a detriment for the health care of our area. Pediatrician Leah Jacobson says the practice she and three other doctors work for has been struggling financially since spring break. I think a lot of people think that everybody is doing okay with this, and it, 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 for a lot of small businesses, it can be tough, and, and I feel for all of us. She's currently only working three days a week. Dr. Jacobson is on the same boat as other physicians. When you're thinking this is a, a medical crisis, you would almost think it was even would be more physician time needed, but uh, the opposite happened. According to a recent survey by the Texas Medical Association of more than 1,500 physicians across the state, 68% of them have had their work hours reduced. Nearly 40% said it's impacted their practice's revenue. We don't want physicians to have to close down their practices completely. We want people to have access to care. TMA President Diane Feit says the unintended consequence could mean a shortage of doctors, especially in rural areas. Because pediatricians and OBGYNs have so many Medicaid patients, that reimbursement is very low anyway. And again, those are the ones that operate on the slimmest of margins. They were the most affected. A shortage in PPE and fears have all contributed to fewer doctor visits. Even with the costly changes some offices have made, some offices may not make it back or make it through another wave. If there was another big hit, it's, it's hard to say. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.